Welcome to our very short demo on how to use the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid user interface. So I already have the Tanzu CLI installed, as you can see there, and its version is version 1.4. So what I'm about to do is use the Tanzu CLI to create a management cluster. And you do that using the following command. Now, you can see that when I tried to create the cluster, it was not successful. Uh, the reason for that is that there's two ways of building a Tanzu Kubernetes Grid Management Cluster. One of them is through the UI, and the other is by providing a file with all of the configuration details. I've provided neither in this case. So let's go ahead then and try and create it using a valid option of UI. Now, you can see that the Kickstart UI did attempt to launch a browser and provide you with the management interface UI. It did use the local host. It used 127001. However, I am SSH'd into this particular shell. And so it's not possible for the UI to launch a browser. So how can we work around that? There is a way of doing it. And if we look here, there is a minus minus bind option. And the bind option, it says the default is what we just saw, the 127001, but we can actually provide it with an IP address or a name to bind instead of the local host. So now we will run the command that we tried to run previously, which is the Tanzu management cluster create minus minus UI. But this time we will give it another option, which is the bind option. We'll give it the IP address of this node and we will give it the port 8080. So now the Kickstart UI has been launched, not on localhost, but on this IP address here. And so what we can do in that case is flip over onto a browser, and we should be able to paste in that IP address and port binding. And there now we have successfully connected to the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid Installer UI, and we can go ahead and deploy on vSphere or Amazon EC2 or Azure. And that completes the demonstration.